y'all doing? Let me stop clapping like I'm in church. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, so on today's video, <laughs> it's gonna be so dope. It didn't start out that way, okay? Let me just say. First of all, I'm an elephant in the room. We're gonna start out this video a little different, so if I'm not giving you guys eye contact, it's because I'm driving. But I thought it was gonna be cool. I'm just leaving the studio, so I'm gonna, you know, ride home with y'all. We're gonna chit chat. And I'm gonna talk about this collection, this new, new collection that's coming. And we gonna do what we do. So let's go ahead and, you know, run the intro and then we'll be back in chit chat. Hey girl, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you wanna join the squad, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business, as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product-based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something oh so pretty. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, okay, this week I really wanted to do, I had one plan for the video this week, guys, and yeah that didn't really work out I you know filmed a lot of it but one of the key things that I needed did not it no I've ordered it but you guys know I moved so that's a whole new thing so I gotta find the piece that I need so that's long story short to complete that video but in the meantime between time I thought it'd be super fun let me close this window guys oh no I don't want to turn on the air cuz then it'll be loud okay Oh, we're just gonna work with it. We're just gonna run with it. But anyways Everybody loud all the trucks want to pass by me now. Hopefully this is not too loud and I can actually use this audio Y'all pray for me there. But anyways, so I came up with this concept to Create these earrings. So I'm gonna show you basically where it started where you know i had one idea if you guys don't know i'm probably going to do a video on this soon but i love to paint florals right i have if you guys look in my studio you don't often see it but there are some pictures behind me that are like florals and i, I painted those um in my home i have pictures of florals that i painted as well so i can't do a lot of like drawing faces and things like that but i can draw florals and so that's all I love drawing flowers I love it and so but I usually because I'm drawing on the canvas I usually do them in a way bigger scale and I knew that whenever I sought out to do them on the earrings that I would have to do them in a smaller scale it just not it was just not working for me and I can and I kind of know why so I think the next time that I try to do this method I'm going to cut out the shapes and then I'm going to draw them on the shapes because one of the things when you're using paint you don't want the paint to actually dry on the clay because then it becomes like it almost like pulls away like pulls away um, so it's hard to like cut and and I only really cut in with my metal cutters because I did cut some of them with my plastic colors before but I just don't want to get paint all over them, wet paint. I just didn't want to go through like cleaning them and all this kind of stuff. So for the second set, I really only use my, um, I really only use the metal cutters or whatever. And they're just way easier to clean. So I did that. So with that being said, that's why I didn't really like the way the first set turned out so I just scrapped those like I didn't like it then I went back over with black out I just I wasn't feeling it I was just not feeling it I was like no I can't do it so actually these earrings that I'm showing right now they are ones that I did end up finishing I'm still not a huge fan but if you're like oh my gosh I love these I want to do a giveaway and I will do a giveaway with something I actually love too, but it just came to me today and I was like, oh, you know, 
Cause Amber was like, oh, they're not my favorite, but she likes them. And I'm like, oh, they're not my favorite either. But I'm like, it might be somebody's style. It might be somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I love them. So I want to give away, I want to give a pair, I want to give those studs away. They're like statement studs. I'm showing them here. And if you're like, I love them, then go ahead and leave me down in the comments why you love them and I'm gonna pick a winner. So if multiple people say they love them, I'm gonna just put your names on the randomizer and just choose the winner like that. If only a few people say they like, you know, I'm gonna, any, however, if one person say they like them, then they're yours. If multiple people say they like them, then I'm gonna put your guys' name in a randomizer and then we'll choose the winner that way. So that's what I'm gonna do for those. I definitely wanna do some more giveaways on my channel in the near future but I just kind of thought like oh this will be kind of cool to do today so that's done so then I decided to go into my next idea and I was like well you know what I'm not really getting a lot of control to be able to uh, paint the flowers like I want to I'm like okay what if, what about something more abstract so that's when I started over and I started to create um, a pattern with color and go um, do more abstract and I actually decided to mostly use my finger um, and my fingers and basically I wanted to do that because I wanted a certain look and I really didn't when I was painting with the flowers I noticed that the brush was leaving a lot of like brush strokes and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of it doesn't look bad but I, I just wanted to try something different, really. So I was like, okay, what if I go in with my finger? See how that works. So I actually really, oh my gosh, I really love how these turned out using my finger. I kind of went back over some spaces with the brush. Also, you'll see that I went over some spaces with um, some mica powder just to like really bright, vibrant, make the color, the pink more vibrant. Because once that pink was baked, it did kind of dull down a dull down and I will say that for paints if you whatever if you decide to try this at home just know that the paint is going to kind of get a little bit more dull it's not going to be as vibrant after you bake it but I did go back over some spots after it was baked and after they were cut out and baked and went over some spots with some blue and then I went over with some like mica powder with the pink um, and so just to make the colors pop a little bit more so once again it could be a thing where you just paint it you cut the shapes out and then you paint but I but because the pattern I was going for I just you know cut it pre-baked it cut them before I baked it and then just kind of went back over them after they were baked so that's something you can do one of the things I will say that I was noticing with the flowers and why I wasn't really liking it because whenever you're painting with paint on a canvas you can kind of let one section dry before you go over and do like another detail but with the clay the idea is that you don't really want it to dry down that much like it can dry down a little bit but you really don't want to dry down that much because like I said the paint after it dries on the clay it just kind of like pulls and almost like separates from the clay so you want to make sure that you're cutting those really quickly and not letting it dry all the way down because it's not ideal to do that so with that being said you want to make sure that you are you know uh, cutting them soon and then you you know can go back and do any touch-ups after you cut them out or after they bake so I kind of I like that it baked on and just went back and did any touch-ups after but I will warn you that it did dry down a little bit darker than when it you know it went in so that's that um, overall I really did like how these turned out they turned out really great I think um, overall I really like the outcome especially the second batch they're very vibrant and oh my gosh when the with the resin like obviously if you you know just painted them you would need to coat them with something so whether that be a polyurethane i don't know if that worked i never tried it but i'm assuming because it seals a lot of stuff in so i think a polyurethane would work but 
I do work with resin, you know, and so with that being said, I really, the resin just made those colors pop. Also, whenever I did it, I didn't, you know, the paint wasn't really flat. There was some areas that was raised. So whenever you look at, and I should have, I'm driving now, I didn't think about it, but I should have showed you guys um, like a up close of what it looked like, not resin, because I did have one more uh, like medallion piece that I was possibly going to make into a necklace that I didn't resin yet, because I kind of like ran out of the resin as I was doing it. So next time I have resin mixed up, then I'll do that. But um, it is great, so it's like it's it's. It's got a funny texture, you know, because it what the paint wasn't flat, so I wouldn't be, you know, I would do some type of coating on it. So with the resin, oh, it's beautiful as you can see. Also, it just makes the colors pop. Also, the texture really pops under the resin too. So you do want to make sure your resin is on, like you have a good coating because it is going to sink in places that there is no texture and then you want it to kind of glide over places that are texture. So you've got to make sure you have a good amount of resin on there, but not too much that is spilling over the sides. But I think I did a very great job of making sure I had just enough. I didn't have a lot of spillage or anything on my pieces. They were really easy to sand after. And you guys know I always sand after I do my resin, just in case I have any spillage, I can just clean it up all at one time versus whatever. And I, um, that's kind of how I do it. So, yeah, I'm excited and excited to have you guys ride home with me. That's kind of cool. That's a different element. So I'll pop myself in and out as I edit this video. And so y'all can see me like riding home. So yeah, this was a very, it was, it was a great video to make. And I really love the outcome of these earrings. If you want to shop these, um, I have a collection that is going to be available tomorrow. I'm actually going to be loading them on the website. So I have a new drop coming. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. So yeah, I have a drop coming Thursday sometime. So make sure you are on the tech squad so that you can be alerted as soon as they hit the site. So those are going to be the ones from last week. And I have two pair from this collection that could possibly make the site. Um, this little, and I'll make a whole nother collection. If you guys don't know, whenever I'm, a lot of times when I'm doing something that's brand new technique, and, and I have did some hand painting before on the, it's not brand, brand new, but I don't think I've ever painted like the whole surface, I don't think. I don't know if I if I have it's been a long time since I have so with that being said because it was a newer technique because I only use my metal cutters um, and I have more metal cutters but I just wanted to you know kind of test it out see how I like it see how they resin all of those things I typically sometimes when I'm still in the testing phase or prototyping phase I only make a couple pieces and then I'll go back and I'll make more if you guys really love how they turned out. So let me know in the comments, um, not in the live chat. Um, I would love, because the live chat sometimes is like harder to go back and find whatever you said. But leave me a comment on this video if you're like, yes, I totally should make a full collection of these. Um, and yeah, that would be something that I can do. Also. I always look for color suggestions, so if you're like, oh my gosh, I would love to do this colorway, or you to do this colorway, then leave me that in the comments as well, because it helps me out, because sometimes you guys know by heart, I'm just a pink girl round and round, so naturally, when I go to grab colors that I want to make collections with, I go for pinks, because that's just my favorite colors, pinks, blacks. That's just what I go for. So if you guys ever have suggestions of like other colorways or other colors you want to see me make with, let me know because then I can um, add that to my repertoire. Or sometimes I just remember what you guys say. I really do try to take account for what you guys say and what you guys request and ask for. I can't always do everything, but I do kind of have that in my back of my mind of what y'all really like and want to see from me and want to see me do on this channel so it also if you have any other ideas of like things i should do on the 
YouTube channel. So any techniques or anything you want to see me try or test out, leave that in the comments as well. Because I would love to do some, any tutorials you want to request and things of that nature. Oh gosh, I'm by a loud truck. Get away from me. Oh, you got this muffler. I gotta slow down because he is doing too much. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. This is what happens when you're driving and trying to um, vlog at the same time. But yeah, so if you have any tutorial requests, anything that you want to see me do, just make sure you leave that in the comment section as well because I would love to do that. And if you're ever wondering about my materials that I use to create, so if you're a maker and you're like, oh, I want to find, you know, whatever she's using or making with, I get. I get 95% of my materials from Amazon because it's quick, it's easy. Yes, I do go to Michaels and Hobby Lobby every once in a while, but I get, I always get my clay and stuff from Michaels and Hobby Lobby and stuff like that sometimes, but the majority of everything else that I use, I get from Amazon. So if you ever are needing to know that, I typically put those things in the description of the video. So links to um, purchase some of the products and equipment that I have. If you are, um, and that's a good way to support my channel because I do get a little commission, a small commission from Amazon. So that's a great way to support what I do here on this channel as well if you use my links. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed TGIW to tonight. If you don't know what TGIW is, um, you need to definitely be in attendance. Um, every single Wednesday night, Amber, Courage, and I, we release videos on our channel. So Amber goes first at 7 p.m. She has a beauty channel and lifestyle channel, and she does home renovations and life, lifestyle things on Wednesday night. So uh, make sure you go and check out her channel. It's at 7, 7 o'clock. All the links are in my description. Plus, Amber and Courage, they are one of the featured channels on my page. So make sure you give them a subscribe because I guarantee you, if you're looking for makeup, skincare, um, Amber is going to be your girl or home. You know, she's going to be your girl to get, you know, a ton of inspo from and a ton of knowledge from. And then Courage Molina, she is a faith coach. She's a pastor. She, you know, has amazing content on her channel. She will get you motivated to move a mountain. She definitely, um, you know, has a ton of different resources. She has a discipleship program. So if you're looking to grow your faith and be able to really take your life or business to the next level, you definitely need to connect with Courage. She does uh, church every Sunday on YouTube at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I would definitely check that out. It's great. She brings a firework every single Saturday morning. So make sure you check that out. And then also, the a &O channel is next. And we have business, video, and we also take you behind the scenes of, of you know, a life of creators, of video creators. We have our own businesses, but we kind of take you behind the scenes of things that we are doing and also giving you all the tips, tricks, and knowledge behind, you know, either creating the channel for yourself or how to um, make video content. So. A and O channel as well, and then obviously, lastly, it's my channel, and I do all the art and crafty things over here. I make all the beautiful things over here on Olivia Hayward, so all of us look stylish and all the things. So yeah, that's the whole rundown of our channel. So I just want to make sure I remind you guys of that because I know I've had a lot of new subscribers on my channel in the last couple of weeks. So. Just so you know kind of what I do and why we're always like TGIW and you know, you know the whole thing. So, and why I premiere my videos every Wednesday. So if you are not here on a Wednesday, come. Come, my channel goes live at 8.30 or I'm always in a live chat on Wednesday. Also, Amber encourages in a live chat as well. So, <sighs> that was a mouthful. Hopefully I keep your eyes stimulated and your ears stimulated. And hopefully I don't have to record this voiceover 
over when I get home because it was too loud in the car. So, praying that that is not the case. But, I don't know. So, I need to get like a, I don't know. I don't know what I need to get. A, a nuts, a mic. I don't know. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So, hopefully everything is on the up and up with this audio so I can use it. But, until next time, I'll see you next Wednesday. At the same time, same place, peace out.